crash on a fall on the floor. She had just been scared by a lightning strike when she was looking out the window. Elsa walked into the room. I think Samantha's trying to create another storm, she said. We have to stop her, Anna replied. I have a plan. With my powers, I can show Samantha memories. I know what I need to show her to stop her, Elsa explained. She ran out of the room. In the library, Rapunzel was writing in her journal. She painted a picture of her adventures in Arendelle. Cassandra found Rapunzel. I think you should see this, Cassandra said and handed Rapunzel a note that was on a small piece of paper. Rapunzel read it. It said, Beware, there may be an invasion on its way. It's for Elsa and Anna. The kingdom is in danger, Rapunzel exclaimed. She and Cassandra ran to find the others. In the village, Elsa found Samantha. Are you creating another storm? Elsa asked. Yes, I am, and I won't stop it, Samantha exclaimed. You're going to destroy Arendelle, Elsa said. So, nobody in Arendelle or the Enchanted Forest cared about me, Samantha said. What are you talking about? You freezing in onto Holland was an accident, Elsa explained. Leave me alone, Samantha demanded. Only if you stop the storm, Elsa said. That will never happen, Samantha said. She threw a lightning bolt at Elsa. Elsa dodged it. She, she shot ice at Samantha. Samantha dodged it. Since you're the ice spirit, let's see how you handle this, Samantha said as she created heat. Elsa cooled it down. Samantha created lightning toward Elsa at the same time Elsa created ice toward her. Their powers were now in a clash. Elsa's powers won as she knocked over Samantha. Elsa used her powers to create the memory of Samantha entering onto Holland. Look at this. What happened wasn't Nock's fault, Elsa said. I don't care. I have nobody. All I have is my storm, Samantha said. She began to make the storm worse. Elsa was running out of time. There was about to be a storm. What do you mean an invasion? Anna asked. Cassandra had gathered her and the others to talk about what she and Rapunzel had found out. Rapunzel handed Anna the note. Anna read it. Who wrote it? Kristoff asked. We don't know, Cassandra said. The note could always be fake. We need to know who wrote it, Anna said. How do we figure that out? Eugene asked. Does it say on the note who it's from? Mary asked. Anna looked around the whole note. It doesn't say, Anna said. Do you think the kingdom is really going to be invaded? Rapunzel asked. I don't know, Cassandra said. Let's look around the kingdom for answers, Kristoff suggested. The group saw a lightning strike outside. We can't go with Samantha Storm, Anna said. With the Moonstone's power, I can protect you, Cassandra said. Anna stood up. Let's go. Elsa and Samantha were still fighting. Samantha created another lightning bolt and sent it Elsa's way. Elsa dodged it. Samantha, please stop the storm and just talk. Tell me what's going on, she said. Never, Samantha replied. Elsa created a memory of Samantha when she was younger and fearing her powers. Samantha ignored it. We can't do this anymore. You're going to anger the spirits, Elsa warned. I don't care about the spirits, Samantha said. The girls ended up in yet another clash. This time, Samantha knocked Elsa over. Samantha, I will do anything, Elsa begged. There's nothing you can do, Samantha said. Samantha was about to use her powers to make her storm worse. Elsa had to stop Samantha, but how? Elsa had an idea. She got up and blasted Samantha with ice. Samantha fell over and she couldn't do anything to her storm. So far, I don't see anything that looks like a possible invasion, Cassandra said. Hannah and the others were looking around the kingdom to try and figure out if the note was correct or not. So far, it seemed like the note was fake. Rapunzel looked at the harbor. Are any of these ships unfamiliar to you? She asked Donna and Kristoff. That one looks off, Kristoff said as he pointed to one of the ships. I've never seen that one before, Anna said. Everyone looked at the ship. It seems suspicious. I think the invaders are on that ship, Varian said. The group walked over to the ship. No one was on it, but there were a bunch of weapons and stuff. Suddenly, they heard footsteps. I don't think we're alone, Eugene whispered. Rapunzel, a voice asked. Rapunzel recognized the voice. Adira, Rapunzel asked. Adira walked out of the shadow. What are you doing here? Cassandra asked. 
I found black rocks. I was trying to figure out why I saw them when I discovered a possible invasion and tried to warn the ruler of this kingdom, Adira explained. So you wrote the note? Eugene asked. Adira nodded. I'm the Queen of Arendelle, the one you needed to warn, Anna said. Do you have any more information about this invasion? Kristoff asked. No, Adira replied. Now, about the Black Rocks, the Sundrop and Moonstone still exist because of powerful spirits, Rapunzel explained. I just found out, I just found that out. Before the spirits of the Enchanted Forest were born, the Sundrop and Moonstone were separated. They were supposed to create one or two spirits, but an event caused the sunlight and moonlight to fall too early. Years later, four new spirits were born, but instead of being creatures like the other spirits, they were people. Two sisters became the light and dark spirits, Adira expl explained. Cassandra and I are the sisters, Rapunzel exclaimed. Your sisters? Adira asked. My mom kidnapped Rapunzel when she was a baby and was her mom for 18 years. So, in a way, yes, we are sisters, Cassandra said. She still remembered the first time she told Rapunzel when when she had discovered her mom. When Rapunzel said it just meant that they were sisters, Cassandra wanted to deny it, but now she accepted it. While this was happening, Elsa and Samantha were still fighting. Each of them kept dodging their opponent's powerful blasts. Then they would shoot their own. This fight has to stop, Elsa said. Never, Samantha said. She kept throwing lightning bolts at Elsa. Elsa dodged them. The fight kept going. In fact, it was getting worse. Samantha, either end this fight or leave Arendelle and never return, Elsa demanded. She sounded serious. Samantha was disrupting the peace between the spirits. Elsa needed... Elsa needed to either get Samantha to stop or leave Arendelle. If Elsa had to, she would call in the spirits herself. Elsa stared at Samantha, wondering what she was going to do. Samantha looked like she was in shock, maybe even hurt or scared. Samantha started to cry. Elsa, I thought things would be different. When I first found out about your powers, I thought you would, I thought you would accept me instead of fearing me like every other kingdom did. When I found out your sister was queen, I thought she would accept me because her sister had similar powers. And now you're trying to kick me out, Samantha cried. Why are you trying to destroy Arendelle? The spirits would accept you. The kingdom would accept you. Everyone would, if you'd use your powers for good, Elsa said. No, my storm is all I have, Samantha said. Samantha, please, Elsa cried. My storm will rage on, Samantha said. Hearing those words reminded Elsa of her past. I used to be just like you. I froze my entire kingdom. I was ready to let my storm rage on. I was alone and scared, and everyone was afraid of me. If it weren't for Anna, I probably still wouldn't be able to control my powers, Elsa explained. I can control my powers. All my life I was forced to be perfect. That's over now, Samantha said. Using her powers, Samantha created a, created a full-blown storm. Samantha, stop, Elsa called. Samantha ignored her. Elsa blasted ice at Samantha. Samantha didn't see it happen, so she fell over as soon as the ice hit her. Lightning struck the ground right next to Elsa. Samantha had successfully created yet another storm, and the worst part was Elsa was stuck out in it. Elsa tried to see if her powers could stop the storm, but no matter how hard she tried, she couldn't stop it. Samantha, you have to stop the storm, Elsa said. I won't, Samantha refused. She used her powers to make the storm worse. The storm was really bad now. There was nothing Elsa could do. She ran back to the castle as fast as she could. Samantha continued to make the storm worse. When Elsa entered the castle, she was surprised to see Anna and the others weren't inside. Elsa began to worry. Were they safe? A few minutes later, Anna found Elsa. Elsa, Anna said. Anna, are you okay? Elsa asked. I'm fine. We barely escaped the storm, Anna said. I tried to get Samantha to stop, but I couldn't, Elsa said. We will, eventually, Anna assured her sister. Cassandra, are you sure the kingdom is in danger? 
was to make the swarm no one could invade the kingdom, Rapunzel said. She was talking with Cassandra as the girls were walking to their rooms. They wanted to relax after the day they had. You never know. Hopefully no one will invade. But Adira could be right. She was right about what would happen if the Sundrop and Moonstone came together, Cassandra said. It was true, but out of everyone, the invasion worried Anna the most. Anna also hoped that the storm wouldn't destroy Arendelle. Elsa watched out the window. There was lightning strikes everywhere, but still, maybe everything would be fine.